Hello everyone, it's Sophia Hodgson. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today on my YouTube channel I'm going to be making another Ulta New Crafter flower. And this time I'm using the tulip layering die set. And so there are three tulip flowers and some stems. And I've tried to uh, separate them out into the three flowers so that I can easily identify them and the stems on a, a separate piece of magnetic sheet. So I'll also be using the Simon Says Stamp You Matter background stamp. Um, and I don't use my watercolours very often, so I decided to set myself the task of using my Ganzai Tambi watercolours. Um, so I have the, I think, 36 pan set, and I'm also using Ulta New, oh, try again, Arteza um, watercolour paper. So I've cut some Arteza watercolour paper down to um, put into my Tim Holtz platform, and I'm going to be uh, doing emboss resist, so I'm using my Versamark Clear Watermark Ink. And I'm just inking up the rubber stamp. Uh, Simon Says stamp background stamps are red rubber, so they give you a really lovely impression. Um, obviously, I have to use my sleeve to get a, a good uh, glide over the stamp uh, so that I get all, all of the, the bits stamped down. And because I'm stamping on watercolour card, I will also be stamping multiple times just to make sure that I get... Um, because this is a text stamp, it's quite um, intricate, so it does need to be stamped a couple of times. Um, I have the biggest jar of WOW clear embossing powder that you can get. It's their, um, their massive, massive jars. Um, and I have a, a massive one in clear. And also um, I've got one in white that's coming in the post at some point. Because um, my current white powder, the cat's knocked it over at one point and it's full of cat hair. And all sorts of other things that you get when you, <laughs> when you get your um, embossing powder knocked over onto the floor and you try and collect it all back in the jar. <laughs> So I've decided to use the clear embossing powder on this particular project because, uh, as you know, watercolour card isn't truly bright, bright white. So um, I wanted to have the colour of the cardstock coming through in the emboss resist, so I figured that clear was better than bright, bright white. Um, and also this is the super, vi super fine version of the WOW embossing powder of clear. Um, so just heat embossing it here. And you'll see me regularly checking to make sure that it's it's all shiny and not granular in any spots. And if I think I've missed any bits, then just uh, reheat setting them. But so that's the um, the background text stamp all set up for emboss resist. So now I'm going to get my watercolor pans out. Uh, and the color I'm using is turquoise blue. It's number sixty two in this palette. Um, and I'm using an Arteza water brush, so it's got some water in the barrel, um, but I also use a, a separate spritzer that has some water in just to add loads of water to the pan, get the the pigment really mixed in, really kind of flowing it nice and um, kind of liquid as opposed to kind of thick and gloopy. Um, it does take a little bit of working to get these watercolours to a, a nice consistency, um, but this big fat brush is great for creating washes of colour. So it's really, really good for the background. So you just kind of slop it on. And within a few kind of strokes, you've got large area um, all covered in one color. So at the moment, it's all a bit square. Um, you know, you can see the brush strokes and uh, I didn't really want that. I wanted it to look more organic. So I'm spraying it with uh, my spray, wa spray water. Uh, this is just clean, clear water. I've got some um, deionized water that I use for cleaning out my fountain pens and things. Um, and I also use it for uh, things like this, mixed media. And I'm just trying to use the water brush uh, to move things around. And you can see I've probably added a bit too much water in the middle. So uh, in a bit, I'll just bring in a, a nice dry microfiber cloth and blot some of that up. But I'm happy with the edges now. It's it's more organic. It's not quite as squared off. You can't really see the brush, brush strokes anymore. So I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to set it aside to dry. Um, I've had all of the camera issues today. Um, so uh, the camera was going in and out of focus whilst I was trying to do my uh, heat embossing. And I forgot to press play. Uh, when I was painting all of the uh, green stem bits. So you can see them off to the side and you can see that I've been painting them with watercolours, but um, 
didn't obviously pick that up on camera so I've got sap green then sap green light for my <clears throat> sorry ah, the joys of allergies <laughs> um, so I use sap green and sap green light for the stems and the leaves and I'm currently using rose madder for the second layer of the tulips I also use rose madder deep for the uh, the base layer um, and I think if you if you're more familiar with watercolor than I am then you'll know that I'm applying it a bit too thick at the moment uh, there's not enough water so it'll be kind of shiny um, and that's purely because I'm not used to using watercolours, I'm not used to kind of handling them, so I will need to get better with time. Um, sorry, I'm far too zoomed in. As I said, I'm having all sorts of, um, you know, kind of technical difficulties with my camera at the moment. So I'm currently sticking all of my layers together um, using the Nouveau glue. Um, so Quickie glue pen is, is really useful for really, really small um, intricate dyes like um, you know the tiddle to your eye and, and J and things like that but when it comes to what can be quite large pieces but very very thin I find this uh, Nouveau glue pen much better because it's got that big head on it you can just kind of glide it over the back of whatever it is that you want to stick down I'm really sorry I'm off camera here um, so just applying the, the layers of the Ultra New dyes. So there are three flowers and some stems and they, once you layer them up, they are just beautiful and, you know, kind of they're so realistic. I just love these Crafty Flower dyes. Um, and I kind of cheated with the top layer of, um, of the tulip dye because I didn't use one of my watercolour pans, so I didn't really... I don't feel confident enough with my watercolours to mix my own colours, and that's my own fault because I just don't use them enough that I don't feel comfortable using them at the moment. What I'm far more used to doing when I, you know, kind of if I were to claim that I do any watercolouring at all, I use my Arteza Real Brush pens. Um, and so for the third or top layer of the flowers, I used um, an Arteza Real Brush pen in rouge or rouge pink, which is A190 in the in the pack. Um, so use that to layer all of the the flowers together. Um, but yeah, I just need to get far more confident with using watercolors. So um, I'm going to have to try and do far more watercolor this year, I think. Um, just to get more comfortable with that particular medium um, and I'm so sorry all of this off screen because I zoomed in for all of the painting and then didn't even record half of it anyway um, <clears throat> so you'll see me in a minute um, really really struggling to create my composition of the the flowers and the stems on the background um, in the end I decided not to use the sentiment on this particular card uh, just because I I love the text in the background and I didn't really want to take away from it and uh, if you don't put the sentiment on straight away then it means that you can use the card for whatever comes up really and then just stick a sentiment on later so as I said just trying to, to work out some sort of composition um, and in the end I stopped recording and fiddled off camera to try and cut down on the recording time because uh, all of this is tremendously sped up in editing and uh, it just took forever for me to kind of get an idea of what I wanted um, but yeah so I will probably cut the video in a bit and then come back with a, a composition that I'm happy with here we go and it's all stuck down and I've got my foam tape on the back and I'm just cutting off any bits that are overhanging I'm one of the people who feel really, really uncomfortable cutting things off that are overhanging and I'm just like, oh no, oh, I spent all of that time, look, you know, sticking it down and painting it and then cut it off. But um, I do think it, it looks nice to have things overhanging on the edge. Um, so it looks like you're just looking at a, a scene um, and there are bits off to the side. But that is the finished card. Uh, do let me know in the uh, comments below whether you do lots of watercolour or not, how comfortable you feel with watercolour. And thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe. Um, and I hope to see you back here soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.